Mm-hmm. And he's saying that spiel. Maybe. <laughs> Let's hope you get brought back like Kid Boo did. Okay. Did he just hit him in a spear or something? Okay, bye, Broly. <laughs> I, I assure you, I did not press X there. That was how the entire animation played out. Huh. God, look at two sentence fuck ups back to back. Wow. Craptacular. Crap head. Exclamation point. The strongest, the strongest swear word of all. Uh, this should not be a thing. This literally should not be a thing because Oob is so canon. Oob is so very canon. Kid, Kid Boo should not be a thing right now. He's, wait, what? He's surely been locked up by the Supreme Kai's before getting revived. Uh... But I thought he got re reincarnated like as soon as he died. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a better idea. <clears throat> well, luckily Janemba is still stronger than Kid Buu. I don't know why it's a luckily thing. Yep, Kid Buu is an actual thing. Actual thing in this game. He, he should be a, a fucking little kid right now in, like, I don't know, Indonesia or something. Or India. Is it Indonesia a state? <laughs> wow, I fuck up there badly. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna make a noise. I don't want to wreck my audience's audio that badly. Uh... Yeah, well, depends on what form. This is not one of those forms. Huh. You tried this once in Otherworld. That's not cool. Oh, hey, we're using Kid Boo now. So, um, I am literally just pressing, I am pressing the square button right now and nothing else. This is literally the result of pressing the square button. Oh, yeah, it launches, I think. Yes. So, yeah, Kid Boo is, um... Oh, a Thunder Flash, cool. That's actually real convenient. I did not get to show off Thunder Flash earlier. By the way, Plant Burst. <laughs> Lol, Plant Burst. That is really cool, though. It's the exact same um, animation um, used in the show for um, Plant Burst. That's what it was called. Or Vanishing Ball, I guess. Uh, I'm fucking stupid. It's called Plant Burst and Rating Blast. Um, I'm not sure why it changed now. Oh, yeah. Well, Kid Boo's Brute Morse Ridiculous Tricks, um, Genocide Blaster. What's it called in this game? Assault Rain. This move is fucking bananas. Like, you've seen there's been a lot of back energies in this game that have been absolutely nuts. But that's definitely like the most crazy of them all. Oof. That's an animation. Like, oh my god, Assault Rain is just horrendously overpowered. Like, god. I, I know Nigel's gonna get a good kick out of this one because he, he does like Kid Buu. So, yeah. Um, Assault Rain... If you throw it out and your opponent hits you, it's still going to connect with them. I think in Shibuya Kai 2 they changed that, so if you hit Kid Buu before it, it hits you, it it will vanish. But that's still insane, the holy fuck. Because if you let it rip, you can just like come in on you and get a free mix-up. It's insane. Why don't you be one somewhere? You, you, you can't tell this? Oh boy. Hey, Janemba's back. So is Boo gonna absorb Janemba, or is Janemba gonna absorb Boo? Hey, wasn't there like some dumb shit in Dragon Ball Heroes where um, Majin Boo absorbed Janemba or some shit like that? I know something horrid where fucking Baby absorbed Janemba. That was interesting. How can you tell? I all the only indication I have is text boxes. I don't see animations. So yeah, I guess um, Kid Buu and Janemba are going to fight each other over who is the supreme evil. Um, okay. 
Sure, why the hell not? Anyway, it's number time. Or at least finding him, I think. I was taking a quick break. Well, you did just kill up Rolly, so I think it's well deserved. That, that is, is true, yes. Huh. Really? What, what, how'd you fuck up now? Oh my god, Goku. Please, do not tell me. You did not kill an opponent that you should have yet again. This is like the fourth time to Saga. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's better to get Goku up to speed, you know. Hell itself is being destroyed. Well, I would not doubt that, considering it's Kid Buu. But how do you destroy Hell? It's not like a spherical thing. I don't think so. Huh. That was just like an infinitely flat surface, honestly. Hmm. Head toward where's what's weakest? Yeah, at this point, it's little man. I love this Godzilla film. This is the idea of these two fighting is like holy fucking shit. What even? Theoretically, they would never really finish fighting because they like. I don't know if Janema can regenerate, but I know Kid Buu can nearly infinite regenerate. I say nearly infinitely because um, Super Buu does have a finite amount of times he can regenerate. Oh, also, the best part is you can just immediately combo off of that. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait. Can I get an initiative on that? Nope. No such luck. I will say, though, it is really nice being able to play Kid Buu in the last few rounds because he's insanely easy to use. You know it's search of feelings. You know it to be true. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. I almost got that. All of his, um, his guard break is hilarious to look at, I will say. Going for it. Eat shit. Ooh, I have an idea. Alright, he ate that. Well, kind of sort of ate it. I'm, eh. Citation needed. Full charge. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll, they can't, it can be dodged if they do that. Actually, I wonder where his magic attacks are. That's kind of crappy. I should be backing up. Oh, fuck! He let that last one rip way too early. I did not think he was going to let the last one go so quick. I was kind of banking him on delaying it so I could, like, drag and dash backwards. Or, or dash backwards, I guess. Come on. Do it! All right. I guess ripping in early would be pretty good too. Like, just Stinger Tactics gone, uh, would be pretty good overall. Oh yes, and Kibu does have a Kamehameha. And it's kind of, it's pretty interesting, he, it comes out pretty quick. So, there's that if you want to use it. Plant Burst, why the hell not? I am fully aware that in this game it is called fucking, uh, Vanishing Ball. But I am used to calling it fucking Planet Burst because, well, Raging Blast. A Raging Blast is still a very underrated Dragon Ball Z game. At least the second one, the second one is. Uh, let's see. Watch this. <laughs> and just getting... Well, I almost got it for free. Oh, wait. Was that Dragon Dashing already? Or... <laughs> that was a hitbox. That should not have even come remotely close to me, but alright. That was a hitbox. Holy fuck. Okay. Ideas. Pin him down like that. I guess he had to do that. By the way, no, I do not really know offhand what um, Kid Buu's base attack side is. I know Janemba's is like 120, 125 maybe? It is not 130. That'd be way too fucking high. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm being pretty deftly outmaneuvered right now. That is. Hmm. Oh. I should be doing that more often, shouldn't I? 
Also, Janemma just feels like dumping all his energy into me right now. Hmm. You know, honestly, it's hard to be able to tell where she is to command mana, considering how fucking good um, Assault Rain is. Oh, ideas. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad. Oh my god. The hit. Pfft. The hitbox issues from fucking Budokai 2 Linger, because you saw all those attacks went right over me. I also thought those was rounds were resolved back in fucking Budokai 3. I guess not. Okay, let this fully rip. I was kind of anticipating a teleport, but I still didn't do shit about it. I just rip again. He doesn't have any energy, got away. I almost got in there. Okay. And yes, again, I do not know how to use this fucking. God damn it! His or smash range is not good. Like. Jesus. At least nothing else, this height difference gives me a huge advantage. So, that was a thing. Eh. Oops. Oh my god, Kid Buu is turning into fucking Shinobu from Bakumogatari right now. All the kakas. All the keks. But... Shouldn't theoretically Kid Buu be like infinitely weak right now because all the evil's been filtered out of his body because, you know, shit? You can't take both of them on without fusing. I would have passed, put it past Goku to try. Why don't you use Batara? But you can't break it. Huh. So this is an interesting uh, situation. On the one hand, infinite fusion. On the other hand, Vegito. And Vegito is like best fusion. Uh, so this is where the ending kind of branches. There's not like one canon ending for this game. Well, I imagine regular fusion would be it. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish this old school. You know, you are absolutely cool. Okay, Vegeta, no. No. Do not pull this on me right now. You did that at the start of the game perfectly fine. Back in goddamn chapter 2. And now you're like, yep, nope, I'm not doing it. What the fuck? <sighs> we, yeah, right? In this one game. I wouldn't really call it working well together. In fact, that seems more like Stockholm Syndrome to me than anything else. So yeah, um, at this point you can get one of two different endings using... Oh yeah, that. Using either Gogeta or Vegito. And as you can tell down there, you end the, you can either end the game by killing Janemba or killing Kid Buu. I'm going to do it with Gogeta, of course, because... Well, I want to do the canon ending first. Well, the more canon ending. So... God, Janemba, no, you should not be able to muster as much fucking power. Yeah, but Gogeta is still higher base stats than Vegito. Well, yeah, this game thinks he's Super Saiyan too. If you ever pay attention, um, the games can never re are never consistent with what form Super Vegito is. Like, if it's either... Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 1. Hmm. Technically it's just Super, Super Saiyan 1 because you never see, actually see lightning. Super Saiyan 2 Vegito would be very interesting. So yeah, how the fuck does... Literally. Where does uh, fucking Janemba find a power to make a recreation of... Oh, I, I, I ate that one? That's actually a very interesting counter of his. But, um... My points from using Gogeta earlier still stand. Oh, I knocked in the base form, hell yeah. I'll take it. But yeah, all points from earlier still stand. Uh, Big Bang Attack does a fuckload of damage. Soul Puncher is apparently unblockable when it is charged. So that is insane. Also, for future reference, he has uh, 
Most of the combo cancels the um, Goku has. Shit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Eight nine. Does that? Have, huh. I wonder how it varies depending on range. Eight seventy. It was eight nine on the last time. Oh, you and your eye, fucking eye frames. <laughs> I knocked him back down again. Poor decisions, Vegito. I swear to God. Oh yeah, I can actually show off Soul, Pun Soul Punisher now. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, okay, Soul Punisher time. This move is fucking fantastic. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm good. And Vegito has final command man in this game. It's pretty fucking dope. God damn it. Oh, that was wow. That was a fantastic bait. Okay. I don't have to really try for this one. Hang on a sec. Let's play a game. It's called baiting Vegito into pressing a button to eat that. It. I did not win that. Oh, huh, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure, why not? Oh my god. And it. Well, actually, no. The eternally big reason why you want to use Gogeta over Vegito is because you cannot be knocked into your base form. So that's pretty good. You got a constant 135 base uh, power boost. I think it's that high. Might be 140. Because I know in Budokai 3 is 140 base power. Huh. Yeah, who does the strength of idiots? We're the same idiots as you. Fuck you. There is a lacking of an I in that Vegito name. Yeah, I. Th it was pretty much as a ploy to actually absorb Majin Buu so Genema could get stronger. Fun times.